Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Chevrolet Traverse, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt vehicle wiring harness with a four-way flat connector in. One great thing about this wiring setup is the fact that whenever you're not using it, uh, you're gonna be able to keep it hidden behind your access panel. But whenever you are ready to hook up, you can remove your panel and easily get to it. That way you can plug in your trailer and hit the road. Which this is really convenient, uh, especially since the Traverse is uh, really versatile. I see them doing a little bit of everything, uh, pulling trailers, and what this is gonna do is allow you to uh, power up your trailer lights to keep you safe and legal. And with this four-way flat connector in, it's a really common uh, type of connector. And even a lot nowadays too, I see people using cargo carriers or other accessories that have lights on them. And nine times out of 10, those type of accessories have the same type of connector in. So this will allow you to power those up as well. I will say Kurt has came a long way with their quality of construction. Uh, everything's really well made, so it should last for quite some time. Uh, the connector itself is really solid and they give you a dust cover as well just to help keep out uh, any contaminants. I do suggest going a step further every now and again and putting on some dielectric grease on these terminals and that'll just really ensure that you won't get any corrosion or buildup going on. It does not come included with this small bracket here. Uh, if you want it, you can always pick one up here at eTrailer. And not really a big deal either way since your hitch is right here. What you could always do is just use the dust cover um, to wrap it around your safety chain opening on your hitch and store it that way. So definitely gives you a couple of different options there. So at the end of the day, a wiring kit you really can't go wrong with and it'll get the job done. Now as far as the installation goes, it's really easy. And that's because uh, it utilizes a factory connector plug right here in this area behind our bumper. So more or less, it just plugs right in. Uh, I will say you can install this uh, with the bumper in place or without. If you're putting your hitch on at the same time, definitely makes more sense to install it while your bumper is off. That way you can just get right to the plug. But if your bumper's on, not a big deal. You're just gonna have to kind of reach up underneath and get to it that way. Well, with that being said, shouldn't really give you a whole lot of issues or take up a whole lot of your time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our traverse and we need to locate the factory connector plug, which is located right here. Now, the bumper is removed um, and that's because we're doing the wiring the same time that we're doing the hitch. We figured we'd do it now so we can have a really good look on what's going on. But we're gonna to have to pull out this dummy plug. So it's a cap. So you're gonna take that red tab and push it back like so. You can push down on the center and remove the dummy plug. With that out of the way, we can grab our new connector plug and clip it into place. One thing I do suggest doing since our new connector plug doesn't come with this red retainer, uh, we can transfer it over from the dummy plug. So if you kind of just push down on it with your finger there, we can pull it out and just slide this into the new connector. Now before we actually route our wiring and uh, get it secured, it's a good idea to test it just to make sure it's working properly. So I'll go ahead and hit our brakes, turn on our running lights, and I'll go ahead and start the vehicle. That way we can test out our turn signals. So I go ahead and hit my left turn and my right turn. So now that we verified our wiring works, I went ahead and routed it and secured it. And I just ran it along the top of our hitch and used some of the zip ties to keep it nice and tight. And then in our case, uh, our customer picked up a bracket here. That way we can push our four-way flat connector into it. So I went ahead and got our bumper back on and as you can see, when we have our access panel removed, the wiring is gonna be very accessible and really easy to use. 
And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt vehicle wiring harness with a four-way flat connector end on our 2020 Chevy Traverse.